Hey everyone, today I uh, thought we'd jump into some light custom programming. Uh, let's just do a min-max average of a temperature for a fan cool unit. Alright, let's get started. We're going to do new. Fan cool unit. Jeez, fan cool unit. Uh, we'll do a variable speed, fan status, cooling. Let's go proportional to, that's 0 to 10, so you know, or 2 to 10, whatever you want to set it up as. Incremental is floating, and two position is obviously on, off. Same thing for heating. Uh, let's give ourselves an outdoor air temperature. All right, we're going to go with common set point again. Uh, da -da -da. Discharge air temp. Get on all that and secondary occupancy. Okay, none of that really matters because we're just going to talk about min max average today on some zone tips. So, this first thing we need to do is throw in some zone tips. Let's go Zn2 T. Let's go ahead and choose a network sensor. Okay, so that threw in uh, zone two. Let's go zone three. Zn three dash t. Sab is a network sensor. Okay, and let's throw in one more. You can have, I believe, up to seven network sensors on a bus. Zn four dash t. All right, now I got all my zone temp sensors over here. Let's just rename this one to one. Zone one. Zone one. Boom. Okay, now they all kind of match. Uh, now let's do a min-max average program. Uh, you can search through here. But you won't find a standard min-max average program in here. So we're just going to add an activity. We're going to call it min, comma, max, comma, avg. Okay. Finish. So I got this min, max, average program. There's two different ways we could do it. We could insert the logic from here. I don't like to do it that way. Uh, I like just the view logic. So view logic gives me a blank canvas that I can come over here and do my inputs. So we're going to do floating inputs. You always want to name these. This time, I'm just going to name it 1, 2, and 3, 4. And I'll show you why. Because I can use this program over and over again. It doesn't always have to be for zone temp. Obviously, you want to name it something different there. Two. And see, it's coming in on my connections down here. Now you can drag and drop it like this. Three. Or you can right click and you can duplicate. Four. All right. Now let's get our min-max average uh, blocks. That's going to be down here in statistics. So we got an average. We got a max. And we got a min. Now don't worry that there's only two connections here. Because all we got to do is double click. I have modifications. Or add two more. Okay. It gets a little jumbled up here, the numbers. Um, it's not a big deal. If you do it, well, see, it's already jumbled up. See, it already has two on the top. So, it's really not a big deal because you only care about what's coming out of this thing. There we go. 
All right, now we got four of each. So now we're going to tie the one into each of these. And my favorite feature, we right click and we can hide, cleans it up. Now we don't have to see those lines everywhere. And to trace it out, it gives you a number. That's number one. That's number two. This will be number three. And this will be number four. See how clean that is? All right, now we'll make some outputs. Activity output, it's going to be a float. It's analog. And we're going to call this, uh, let's call it zoom temp a BG. Okay, zoom temp average. Actually, we're going to try to make this generic. So let's just call this average. A, B, G. Okay. And then we'll call this one max. And then we'll call this min. Ah, I've changed my mind. We're going to call this so tip then. I'll tell you why here. Because I want to pull these into the J's. So let's go ahead and put um, our facets on here, our units, degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and make it magnet exposed. Right? So now we'll be able to pull that point in into the Jace. Whenever we search for it, it'll come up. So let's go to max back that exposed units degrees Fahrenheit. And let's change that one too. Temp. Average, magnet exposed, degrees, ah, Fahrenheit. Boom. Okay. All we need on this one, this is good. We can hide those lines if we want, but those are just single lines, so no need to hide them. Come down here and control, and now we got a uh, connect our connections over here so we want uh, make a connection here that's going to be zone tip 1 that's going to be zone tip 2 that's going to be zone tip 3 that's going to be zone tip 4 boom alright now we got to determine what the customer wants to use. And let's just say they, they, they want to use the average for now. So what we want to do is come over to zone tip one and see all everything that's tied to. And we'll go one by one and we'll change it out. So the easiest way is just click on this guy. See, it's tied to zone tip one. We're going to change that connection. And we're actually connected to the average block there. And then come back over to zone tip one and we repeat that process change connection min max average we want the zone tip average boom okay come back over to zone tip one click we want the average zone tip average okay one more Average 
Now we're done because the only thing that this is connected to is min max average and we want to keep that connection. So now over here, average is connected to all this. We have the max and the min. So if the customer changes his mind and wants the, the max temperature, everything to control to the max temperature, we can just re um, change those, those points where they need to go or the min. It, it's that easy. And what we want to do is, since we, we created this awesome program here, we can save it. We can go export module. Give it a name. I like min max average. Now, what that does is any time in the future, we can right click new. We can go down to min max average. Boom. There it is. We can call for it. It's going to put that little calf file on the end of it. We could change the name, min max average. Uh, let's do min max average set point. Okay, finish. Boom. Now I got this thing. Now we can come in here and we have a zone set, set point. So let's go ZN2. Dash SP. Now we have set point, right? We can add one of those. So say there's two set points in the room, but only one, uh, and we want to average the two set points in the room. Now we can use this program or this base of the program to start from. With view logic, what we can do is we can wipe this out. See, this is where it comes into play. Three and four. So we want to get rid of three and four. So three and four. That way one and two are still open. Three and four. One and two are still connected. Four and three. Okay. And we can change our name now. Zone SP average. We'll keep it, we'll still keep it back now exposed. It's still degrees Fahrenheit. See, if we weren't pulling all this into the JACE, then we could have kept this generic. But since we want to pull this into the JACE, We'll go ahead, you know, we got to change the names. That's not changing the names. Not that bad. It's, it's easy. All right. Now we got zone set point. Now we do the same thing over here. We go to zone set point. It's only tied to one spot. How easy is that? So we change this zone set point right there. Change connection. We want this and we want the average. Okay. Then come over here, make a connection, and we're going to go to zone set point. And then we're going to go zone two set point. And we're done. That's it.